Welcome back, everybody, to Join 608 Plays. We are going to be beginning Season 2 of Kenji, uh, my playthrough here. Um, before we get started, uh, I appreciate all the comments that I've gotten. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel with your subscriptions and your thumbs-ups and your comments. It's helping build the channel slowly but surely. Um, I did change some things in my grind between sessions. Uh, I started off trying to do it the hard way and grind things. And uh, my son pointed out that uh, since I've already pretty much know how to grind, that I might want to consider grabbing a mod that makes it so that I don't have to grind out in the world just to try and get, like, toughness up. You know, go find a band of goats and stand there and let them beat on me until my toughness goes up, stuff like that. Um, that's the way you would do it in-game without mods. So I did add a couple of mods. Uh, I added the advanced uh, training facilities. It says that you can go up to max skill level 70 on these. I have toughness training, dexterity training. I had strength training, but I really don't need that because I've already pretty much done my strength training. Uh, and then I added, like, uh, what is this, uh, Crossbow training, perception training, uh, stealth training, a couple of stealth dummies. Um, oh, and uh, some martial arts dummies, dodge and martial arts. So I did add that mod. Uh, I What I did is I didn't train everybody like up to 70 or whatever. Um, actually, Kat, you can go back to work. I don't even know what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be over by the bread oven, and that's pretty much done. So you can stand there for a while. Um, one thing I did want to do is I wanted to take my miners. And I'm going to take them off their jobs. And I'm going to send them back into uh, the bar. Because we have full stuff for now. And I really don't want to have to switch back here when they're getting attacked out in uh, Never Never Land. The other thing I added, uh, bring up the map, I added the uh, one of the mods that has um, borders. So it'll tell you, you know, where the borders are. It doesn't show me all the locations or whatever, only the places that I've been. So these are all the cities that I know of. Uh, I'm sure there's more. I know there's like Ashland Domes down here. It doesn't show you everything on the map. It just shows you what I've found. Um, and it, you know, it gives you the names of the places uh, so that you can kind of know when, you're go when you go into some place. You can look at the map and say, oh, I'm there. And have some idea of what's going on. Okay. Uh, it was getting a little frustrating, like I'd walk into a border and not even realize that I'd walked into a border until it told me so, and then I would be like, but I didn't want to go to that place, I wanted to go elsewhere. So that's what I did. Those are the two mods I've added. Um, as far as training goes, uh, here guys, go sit down. You sit down, you eat less. Have them go sit down in the bar in the bar for now. Okay, let's get back to me. So I've got the group together. Um, kind of what I did is I trained people up based on how long they'd been with me. For what I considered middle game stats, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to be higher. But like 30s for people that are relatively new, like Bark. Well, he was he started off higher. Uh, but like Griffin, that 56, he already had 56 40s. Same thing with Kang, Rutka, and uh, Rain the Giant. I didn't change their stuff. I did bring up the uh, the skeletons to the high 30s uh, because of some of the stuff that they've run into. Um, Logan, I got his toughness 
and strength and dexterity. Strength mostly so they can carry stuff. He doesn't really fight, as you can see. I didn't I didn't put in the advanced dummies for like attack and defense. This is stuff that they just built on their own. So the only thing I I did is I worked on these over here. With the exception of Dren 608, we had talked about I wanted him to start making him a Renaissance man. So not only does his uh, toughness and dexterity are in the 40s, but I also uh, upped his stealth and his uh, assassination into the 50s to be up about where Esser is. Um, and I got Esser up to 40s in the dodge and martial arts. And then this was just sort of balancing him out. And then I got Beep. Uh, I don't want Beep to get dead dead, so I raised him up into the high 30s. Um, he's still not the greatest, you know, over here in these stats, but he's working on it. So I didn't go way overboard and try to, like, make everybody superhuman or whatever. And I, you'll see I did the same thing with people like Plant and the Farmers. Uh, when we get to their stats, you'll see the same thing. Basically, I just got them up to where I think that, like, they're in the 30s, maybe high 20s for a lot of them are in the 30s. Uh, just so that, you know, bandits and stuff that come in here are not going to necessarily kill my people. They should be able to handle it with the help of the trade ninja guards and the, the thief assassin guards and stuff. <clears throat> so that's pretty much going to leave the hub in good hands. They're all assigned to doing jobs. I did have the miners come off their job and start to rest because standing out in the dust storms, just they eat, they, uh, they don't need to make any more iron ore right now. We have like 300 in storage. So, uh, and we aren't doing that much as far as uh, building anything right now. So I just kind of let them go. So what are we gonna do? Uh, Dren 608 team, which is my main team here. That's my little introduction there to what I've done. We are going to try to go on an adventure, as it says in the Hobbit. Um, I am planning on, I want to go visit the swamp. My son told me to take rum to the swamp. So I'm doing that. <laughs> uh, you'll see uh, inventory wise, dogs carrying a whole bunch of rum. I basically emptied out my hundred some odd rum bottles. And I'm carrying a whole bunch of cloth iron plates, electrical components, some copper, and some building materials with Bill, along with some rum. And the reason why I'm carrying all of this on Bill is because as I get down here to this strange town, Morn, Katoon, those are three. Uh, this is going to be a long haul here to Clown Steady. And Drifters last. Two of these five cities, I plan on trying to like buy a house and put a couple beds and a skeleton bed in it so I have a base of operations. My initial thoughts is to do it in Morn. And uh, I'm thinking Drifters last because it's kind of like on the way to getting to a whole bunch of ruins over here on this side of the map, which is where the next phase will be once I've explored all five of those cities. I'm going to try and raid up into these ruins and see what I can do up here. So that's the long-term plan here for the beginning of Season 2. When I get done with that, depending on what I find and whatever, uh, we'll have to make plans to go and maybe get ourselves killed going after that island land lab or something. I don't like the sound of bone fields. And I remember the burning forest had something to do with, I don't think it acid rains all the time, but when it rains, it is acid rain. So I'm thinking I might do this a little differently rather than run down. I've been super conservative. I run down like clear weather all the way out to like this peninsula and then I run into shark. I'm gonna see, since I have my stats up, I'm gonna try to come through the northern part of the swamps and see if there's an awful big blank space there that I just can't believe there's nothing out there. So I'm hoping that maybe I'll stumble across a ruin or something and be able to, you know, 
pick it up, and then if I don't, then I'll just head on down to Shark and sell the rum there. Supposedly rum sells, according to my son, son rum sells really good in Shark. So we're going to go see if we can become rum, rum runners, shall we? All right. Like I said, if you like what you see, a thumbs up button. If you like, see, so go and subscribe, hit the notify bell, be notified, upload videos, and schedule streams. And we're just going to head down here to the edge of the border zone and see what happens to us. I do have everybody's backpacks off because they have food in it and they kept trying to put it back in the food store, which I have, like, way too much food, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Oh, I need to put everybody on that map, uh, don't I? I only had Bill being marked there, so let's put everybody, let's go down to this spot here. It's like there's a road that goes into here. Okay, let's get started. Oh. Oh, dog and Bill. They're a little far behind. Um, kind of not liking how far behind they are. All right, um, I'm speeding myself up to double speed for now. Pretty safe in the border, although I worry about Bill being so far behind me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, the pathing for this is insane. All right, we're going to stop here. Uh, everybody, just just uh, <laughs> let's just stop here and let the animals catch up because of all that stupid crazy, <laughs> uh, crazy pathing. All right, let's try again to get down here. That's just crazy ass pathing. Oh, Bill's still behind me. I need to get Bill kind of caught up. Okay. We're still going to try and go down this road. It seems to be having me run down roads. Which, okay, I can deal with that. I don't mind running down roads at this point. Anytime I have to make a turn like that, the animals get way far behind. <sighs> so I have to stop again. And let them catch up. Uh, someone once told me that they have a problem with the turning radius or something because of their the way they're defined in the game. Uh, can I go over over hill and over dale? I wonder if I can just run over here. Oh, my map. My camera's all screwed up. I like to have my camera facing this way so I can actually kind of tell what I'm doing. All right, get this camera on me. See how bad off we are. See, the animals are falling behind. I wonder if I should have, like, everybody follow, like, Bill or something. Just have Bill do the moving. Would that work? So if I take everybody but Bill... And then I have them all follow Bill. No, I have to have them all do that. Okay, so now they're all assigned to staying close to Bill. Right? Has everybody got that job? Okay, and so we'll just have Bill do the moving and they should follow him, right? 
Is that how this works? So Bill leads the way and we all follow. And we don't follow very well. What the heck? Huh. That's probably not a good idea, is it? Okay, this should take me into the swamp. All right, we've got a lot of people straggling here. I don't like this. So how about a trip to the famous dancing skeleton while we're in the swamp? All this travel has made me thirsty for a good rum. You can celebrate with rum when we've made it through the swamp ninjas and monsters lurking in the vines. Who's doing my talking here? Where's this dialogue coming from? Uh... Uh, there was Bark talking about that dust abandoned Urk. Boy Scout, you can celebrate with a rum once you've made it through the swamp ninjas and monsters irking in the vines. There's a dust bandit saying Urk? Where's there a dust bandit around here? I don't see a dust bandit. Okay. I think we're going to turn that off because it doesn't seem to be working the way I want it to. Oh, I have to turn it off on everybody? Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, maybe I should just leave the the Boy Scouts on that. I could leave the Boy Scouts to be close to Bill and Dog, right? When they trail behind, they'll stay back by them. Or do I put everybody... I'm still trying to figure this out, folks. If I do this... Dave. What happens if we bodyguard Bill? But then we all move together. How does that work? Shit, you're always so tense. You know what? Whatever you Shek warriors are on, I want some of it. What's that? Celebrate rum once we've made it through the monsters. Monsters, hmm, sounds like a challenge. My sword's waiting. You're always so tense. You know what? Whatever you Shek warriors are on, I want some of them. <laughs> okay, so we've got some interesting dialogue going on there. This isn't working either. Why is bodyguarding Bill make him not be close to Bill? Okay, uh, where am I at on this map? I need to get down to this city, this road here. Just follow the road. Road's not real obvious in the swamp, obviously. For us bodyguarding Bill, we're not doing a real good job of it. Well, I guess I go this way towards Shark, right? Oh, I don't want to. Yeah, that sounds like a good place to go. So we'll wander down this road here. Oh, you can't see anything, can you? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I guess the bodyguard thing doesn't apply. They're not staying close. They're not... Ugh. That's really weird. 
Alright, I'm at this town. Oh, look. I found a town. Shall we go see what that town is? I found a new town. So there are some things out here. I just need to come out here and explore them. And of course, my animals aren't going to keep up with me. So I have to do this in short little bursts. Oi. Interesting. Where am I at in time? 21 minutes. I guess we'll get to rot and see what it looks like. Oh, we did leave on the 304th day, by the way. Um, so, I've been in-game for, I guess, three game years. My son tells me that a year is 100 days. And we just went into day 305. We're going to get into rot in the middle of the night, it looks like. Okay, I should be right on top of it. Oh, is that it there? Oh, there it is. Okay. Alright, is there a gate thing? Where's there a gate? Man, I can't even see a gate. Oh, there's a gate over here? No, that's not a gate. What is that? Oh, that's a makeshift gate. Okay, we need to come here. Oh, jeez, it's midnight, so there's going to be anything in here. I'm not going to have anywhere. I'm going to have to waste a whole night here? Oh, Lord. Because nothing will be open. I'll see if they've got a bar. So what's in this place? A hideout. A lookout tower. A hideout, a residential small, okay, a residential swamp house I could buy for 16000 but I don't think I want to buy a house here, do I? What's this? This is... Big shop, so maybe I can sell some of my rum there. Uh, this is a swap platform large. Is it covered? Is it a covered platform? It looks like it's a covered platform, so maybe I'll just go stand on the platform until morning? Okay. Uh, I don't see a bar. So they don't have bars out here with the hideouts, huh? Does not look like they have anything that even resembles a bar. They've got one shop. <laughs> okay, this is like a little podunk village. <laughs> I have come to stop at a podunk village. Question is, is do I want to be here... Or do I want to just keep going? Uh, what time is it? 24 minutes in. I tell you what, we're going to stop here. I mean, part of me says I should wait until morning so I can see what's here for real. But another part of me says they have exactly one big shop. 
right? So how much is there going to be here? With my luck, there'll be some blueprint that I really, really want, right? I don't know what's in here. I haven't looked at the wiki for that. Uh, spoiler warning, I will at some point in the near future, I'm going to go to the wiki and find the list of unique characters, their names, and write them all down so that when I see a name, I can go, oh, that's on my list. That's somebody I want to try to recruit. Um, I've already had one person tell me about a neat recruit from the Sheck kingdom or something, but it's really hard to get them because they have a ridiculous set of circumstances that you have to complete or whatever. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to walk. What was this? That's a hideout. Residential. Is there a swamp? There is like something that has a bit of cover on it. So I think we're just going to try and see if we can get up here. And then we'll wait for morning. Okay, I think I need to turn off the... Okay, I got to turn this off bit by bit. It's interesting that when you when you turn it on, um, everybody will get it turned on, but not everybody will get it turned off when you try to turn it off. So I'm really confused. Maybe it's because I have Bill in the selection too. Is that what it is? Maybe that's what it is. So if I were to go... Not you. And then go... Did that turn it off on all these guys? Nope. It's like to turn it off, you got to do it. Each person's into thing individually, which is kind of annoying. So, following and and uh, bodyguarding one of the animals doesn't seem to work real well. Uh, I guess I'm just going to have to do it in short bursts so that they don't get too far behind me. All right, let's see. Can the animals come up here? Yes. Looks like everybody gets up here. Dog and everybody. So everybody's under the tent. Okay. That's cool. That's where we'll leave off. Uh, not real exciting. I didn't even have a battle, but we got to some place called Rot in the swamps. So we're exploring the swamp and getting some new towns and stuff. I think when I go to try to go over to that strange town, that I may come back up this way from Shark and follow the roads around so I can be in Shem for a fair amount of time and not have to worry about weather being so terrible with rain and not being able to see things and, um, and try and get as close to the that border going through uh, Shem as I can and then run across that way. I don't know. That sounds like a good idea. That's what I think I'll try next time. All right. If you like to see the thumbs up button, you really like to see, go and subscribe, hit the notify bell, be notified, upload videos, and schedule streams. Uh, next time we'll wait till the sun comes up. We'll try and see what's here in Rot, and then we'll move on down towards Shark to try and get rid of all of our rum. I want to see if they've, if it's got a good price here, uh, if it really is what my son said, that the swamps buy rum at uh, a good markup. If it is, I might become a rum, rum runner to the swamps to make money instead of a bandana runner to the Shack Kingdom. <laughs> right now, I make all my money by selling my bandanas to the Kingdom or if I need to get something in uh, in the Holy Nation, like a blueprint, or uh, I like the backpacks with the little roofs on them. I think they look cooler than just the regular old wooden backpack that you get in the Sheck Kingdom. You can get a True Traveler's backpack, which has a little tent thingy that hangs over the top of it. It makes it look 
a little bit neater when you're carrying it. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, before we go, <laughs> I keep I forgot that I needed to do this, so uh, I need to get everybody's backpacks. Uh, I'll do this offline, but um, I was running with my backpacks closed uh, because I had stocked up on some extra food for everybody, and they immediately wanted to go back and put this in the stewed for uh, the food storage. So what I had to do is I put the food in there, and then you take the backpack and just drop it in your regular inventory, and then you know run around, get away from your food store, and you'll be fine. But I need to get this stuff out of there so that these guys can get more ammo and stuff. Right? So that's what I'll be doing. And yeah. So I'm Dren608. Until we meet again, stay safe and bye-bye.